What's up, DigiDestins? This is Kyle D, better known as Rhyme Avatar, and today we are going to be going over the top 16 of Magic Carta's event that happened over the weekend. We see a bugged out event. Is that because people are afraid of the ban list for Alphamon and they're just kind of putting it off to the side? Let's dive into this video and talk about it. So let's look at it. Magic Carta's event was very interesting to say the least. We have about 38% Grandis, so that means we had six Grandis wins. Gaiomon won at three. Metal Gurumon only took two slots, which is very interesting to me because usually Metal Gurumon kind of takes the upper the upper center of this the tournament. Usually it's pretty high up there. I'm just surprised that this live event was Grandis focus. So that might be because Alphamon's kind of falling off, and that might be why. But we'll have to look at all the decks in the first place. Then we have Security Control, Imperial Dramon. We have D Brigade, D Reaper, and Alphamon itself. It is very interesting to see how they went about this. And it's very cool to see what they're playing and what they wanted to go for. So let's see here. First is, let's actually do this. First off, we have Neil with Grandis, Darwin with Grandis, Ling with Grandis, Jordan with Security Control, Jimmy with Gaio, Patrick with Metal Gurumon X, Michelle, Michelle, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Imperial Dramon, Francis with Gaio, Melissa with D Brigade, Lloyd with Metal Gurumon, Billy with Grandis, Alexander with Grandis, Mike, Gaio, Wince, Winson, Winson, uh, D Reaper, Ran Randall, Ron Ronald. Well, with Alphamon and Wilfred with Grandis. So that's just making up the big tops. So first off, let's take a look at this. This one is what I would expect for most Grandis lists. What we're taking a look here is the tech slots here. Uh, obviously, we know it's what it's going to do. It's going to build up OTK, but it does have a s interesting top end. It's using Omnimon Merciful mode. So why is they using this card? Well, it can also delete some Megas off the board, which does help out with Grand Quagamon's Grand Scheme. It'll have at least two Megas in there, so popping out two. But also being able to trash one when this Digimon purges itself really does help out, and that gets you another free damage that might have been what you needed. And I also like the being able to place 10 cards underneath. Really does help out. So Merchant's Full Mode is really powerful, and I wouldn't be surprised if this might be a go-to. Uh, outside of that, we have the Yokomon for Digiburst, Lalamon just to recycle in when you Digiburst out, Palamon for jamming if needed, Weedmon for that extra memory gain, Arbormon for Mimi on top of Mimi hybrid game status, Kabuterimon is just blocker status, uh, Okuamon X antibody is basically what you're going to be Digivolving on top of your Okuamon promos, and just going for town from there. And when this Digimon would Digivolve into a Digimon with an Insectoid in straight, reduce the Digivolution cost by one. So, not terrible. I mean, hey, being to make your Grand Quagamon now a two cost really does do add up occasionally here. And then you got green memory boosters to search out pieces. Electroshocker really does help out. It's a very niche tech card, and I think this is very slept on. But returning one of your opponent's suspended Digimon to the owner's hand and then trash all the Geovolution cards really does help out for a 5 cost sometimes. And that's all you need to really just get it off the board. And sometimes Alphamon doesn't expect it. Gurumon's not ready for it. So it's just how that goes. You know Grand Quagamon's just going to Digiburst everything out to get the multiple security checks. And then you go right into Grandis for 1 cost. Not terrible. And then you have a Kuamon here for extending your plays because you're going to suspend stuff. And by suspending their stuff, you instantly gain the memory to go on further. And this also gives you the piercing you need. So outside of that, nothing too crazy. Memory searcher, memory negator. I mean, X antibody searcher. Well, insectoid searching. We just need enough targets. And then Terrier Mom just being Terrier Mom. And then looking at the second place list, what's really interesting to see is that they're using Mega Death here to be able to remove threats so it's like electro shocker and then giga death suspend one of your your opponent's digimon then place the up to 10 of your opponent's suspended digimon at the bottom of their owner's deck in any order i really find this very interesting 
but I feel like this is really more for the Reaper matchup, especially if your opponent goes wide and they've been swinging in, you can at least remove that whole threat off the board. But if you have any other assumptions what Giga Death is here for, let me know down in the comments. But we have like green memory boost, the whole nine yards here. We got one Mimi just to be able to do Mimi shenanigans. Davis to be able to search out your pieces really does help out actually. And it can get you to a Kumamon hybrid game status. Snimmon is Snimon is basically in here. So when it gets out of security, you get a free suspend in one of your opponent's Digimon. And you get to apply more pressure because now they weren't expecting an extra attack. You know, Kabuterimon blocker, one cost evolves is what it, where it's at. Weedmon's being Weedmon. We've already talked about the rest. Tenomon's just going to search us pieces. I love the Koku, Kokuamon. So this card is basically giving us extra security checks. So if you can't Digiverse right away by getting to your promo, at least you have another route to go into with your Grandis and not have to worry about getting to Grand Guagamon itself. So all in all, great stuff here. Now let's see the third place list. So we have a Vanilla Gabumon. We got the Searchers. We got basically everything you're going to see. Snipemon. I love the third, the four, fifth Okuomon here, just so you have at least some viability. And when this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle and survives, gain one memory. At least can make your grand, grand, Grandest Kuwagamon get some value out of it if you don't have the piercing. So it's not bad. Uh, what's really interesting is the GG Evolution plugin S. So while you have a Tamer in play, you, you may use this card without meeting its color requirements, but we're in green. We'll always meet it. Draw one. Then you may Digivolve one of your Digimon into a Digimon card in your hand that can Digivolve from a Digi Evolution cost three or less without paying its memory cost. So basically for two, you can climb up further. It really does help out. And then one X antibody just to guarantee that you get to grant, you can get your grandest off even if you don't see the Grand Quagamon. And then Mimi, just to promote little digis up for game. Next is a security control list. So obviously it's kind of just staple. We know what we're going to see, what comes through the pipe here. We're going to see Kari's. Kari, to if they hit you, you punish them for it. Then Mimi is when a player uses an option, suspend the stamer, gain a memory. So you can reduce the play cost of all your beautiful options in general. I love the one Juno Mom. It helps cycle in pieces back. I love Angel Woman here. That minusing security really does help out, especially if they hit Flame Hell Sight. That can stop an attack for a turn. Really does help out. And then Sukuyamon itself is security minus three. When an opponent's Digimon moves from the breeding area to the battle area, gain gains minus three security checks, and all your opponent's security Digimon gets minus three thousand DP. Really, that damage output does help out sometimes. Ovanimon fall down mode, just being able to replace itself by putting out a Bushy or Salamon really does help out. I love the Bushy Agu, it really does get there. And what do I mean like that? So if Fall Down Mode dies or you use Calling from Darkness, if you have a Bushy and Trash, instantly play that Rush game. So that's just how that's gonna go. Then we have Blade of Truth triggering draw one and every two security cards you have. So that's gonna be your draw advantage. Holy Flame recovering really does help out. Eden's Javelin minusing DP and drawing really does go a long way. Wyvern's Breath, minus 15,000 is really big. Uh, Chaos Duration, place one of your opponent's Digimons face down at the top or bottom of your opponent's security stack if you do trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. So basically, being able to remove threats on board really does help out. This is pretty much one of the few cards that doesn't have a negate besides Kongu. So until every deck has that color Kongu, we don't have to worry too much. So... And then Death X Mon for that wide board punish. But outside of that, we already know Avenge Kid Mon's just here to cycle back all your options after a while. And then Vixie Mon's just drawing new cards. Salamon for recovery. Magna for recovery. And that's about it. Now let's take a look at Gaiomon. So Gaiomon's very interesting. You don't see very much. You see a lot of iterations with the list. There's a lot of crazy shenanigans. Uh, I love the one Blitz Omni, one Omnimon X. I love one at Death X. It's a really niche tech that actually can go off at times. Uh, War Greymon X being security plus one, but also being able to shut off options really does get through some security control matchups or if your opponent has heavy options. Guy Omon, security, reboot, D-Digivolving if you have a black Digi-Evolution card and if your opponent 
uh, one of your opponent's Digimon. Then if this has red, it gains Blitz. So that's always fun. Black War Greymon itself, you know what this is going to do. It's going to be popping Tamers. It really helps control the board. Uh, Metal Greymon X Antibodies, just punishing straight up. Uh, this was, I think this is supposed to be the promo. I don't think this is supposed to be this, but this is the list that I saw. So I don't think this is this Alt Alt Altarius mode. If it is, congratulations with this one. That one cost evolve, but I don't see why you would be playing this. I think this is supposed to be the promo. And then we have Metal Greymon for the DG Evolution. Then we have Greymon, Greymon X Antibody, Burning Greymon. So if you have a hybrid in Traits or Takuya, I think Greymon here just for that extending plays and power boost blocker. We already know that's going to come in viability. And then Agumon power booster promo, uh, Searcher Agumon, Searcher Agumon for Greymons and Omnimons. This one's going to search us for Greymons and or Omnimons and an X antibody option. No X antibodies in this deck list, so no surprise there. Uh, but this will hopefully hit us to Dragon. We get one Dragonkin, which is our Mega lineup, and then one Greymon. Not a bad trade-off. Goromon, just for the added DP boost, really does help out. I love the protection in the list. I really think this is supposed to be... I'm going to change that. I don't think this was that. Greymon. All. Terius. Raymon. Let's go right here. I'm just going to make that quick change. I think it's supposed to be this. There, there's no way. Nobody else was playing that card, and it really doesn't give any viability for being that other Altarius mode. So, you get one hero, one Tai Kamiya, three Red Men boost, one Kongu, and then we get one Nokia, and then we have two Cool Boys. If this is supposed to be that one, let me know down in the comments. I, I will make that change back, but not terrible here. Uh, then we have Metal Garumon X Antibody, which is kind of just a very stock list. Um, there are some niche techs here, like the Matt, Ishida, and Sora with one hero, just so you have a dedicated plan. So when you OTK the, you know, big bad of the format of security control, just kidding. You just don't have anything to worry about. X Antibody is always a fan favorite. Three blue mem boost, one ice wall. Then we have Blitz Omni for game. Uh, cool boys just for more searching and hopefully getting to your pieces. The Grumon and where Grumon promos are the heart and soul of the deck. Once you don't have, if they're not in this deck, the deck really struggles. Uh, War Grumon, War Grumon X Antibody. You know what this thing is going to do here. I love the tech of the BT1. Uh, metal Groom on here. Just being able to play a four lower underneath as another Digibot. Well, paying its cost really does help out, and that very much adds some benefits to you. I mean, this one just bridges the gap for free, and this one's just going to be unsuspend the Digimon gain blocker until the end of your opponent's turn. You know the drill here. And then if you have Xantibiati or Metal Gurumon, and when this Digimon becomes unsuspended, if return all your opponent's Digimon with the lowest deep lowest level to their owner's hand. Not terrible. Kori Kaku, Gurumon, you know, the bridge gap here. Power booster Gur Gurumon, which I'm surprised they have it at the least. Because you need that power boost sometimes. But I can understand if they have hero. This is going to search you Tamers. Well, add one Tamer and hopefully a Gabumon to your to your hand, which can get you hopefully Gabumon X Antibody. Mandoki Beta to shut off memory shenanigans. Gabumon here for searching. Gabumon for a draw. And this is Sunomon to gain you more DP. And then your Battle Protection Gurumon is about all you have here. And that's just about it for the Metal Gurumon there. And then let's take a look at Imperial German. This is definitely a very stock list. We already know. We're going to see the Davis and Kens for memory gain and restating your double colors. And then you have Davis for memory gain, setting your memory to three. 
Then you have Hidden Potential Discovered. You know this drill here. Mega Death, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, then return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon to its owner's hand. Ice Wall to shut down push turns. Blue Mem Boost, you know the drill here. Two Hammer Sparks. Then you have Imperial Digimon Dragon Mode. You may play one level four blue Digimon card and one level four green Digimon card from this Digivolution card without paying its memory cost. Sets you up to go right back into Pyle Digimon. And then you have Dino B being Dino B Mon, DNA. And then being able to lock down an opponent's Digimon is really nice. Then Pyle Digimon, your multi attacker here, uh, Jogress, DNA. And then that's about it. Crazy shenanigans there. Stigmon, just because it's a four cost. Uh, comes in for a three if you have a blue. And then if you have a blue Digimon in play, draw a card when attacking. Panasaurusmon is basically three costs. It's just another Stingmon, but guarantees you to come in with it. Leomon's for on deletion, gain two memory, draw a card. We already know this drill. EXVmon jamming and jamming for the Impel Dramon is nasty. L Lopmon is just Lobomon is all about that hybrid game status. Vmon's for searching for free types. Labramon is if the Sigimon has jamming, gain a memory. Vmon is when the Sigimon becomes unsuspended during your main phase, gain one memory. Madoki Beta is just shutting down memory shenanigans. Demi V for jamming, drawing cards, and then one Upamon. So all in all, great list. We kind of just expect this from Impel Dramon. D Brigade. We already know best deck in the format. Are we joking here? But we already know that you're going to play all 16 Command Dramons. This one is all about replacing itself when it dies. Chichurimon is just basically a hidden security. You get D Digivolve, their boss Digimon. Really does help out. Then you have Command uh, Her Hagoramon basically drawing you two for a discard one. Seal Dramon, just a nice little blocker. Rumblemon for hybrid game. Dark Dramon just for rush. Then you have Death X being Death X. Ultimate Flare, D Digivolving for three, really does help out. Two Iron Fist Onslaught is delete your opponent's Digimon with the highest play cost. Pride Memory Boost to extend your plays and mill you some more. Kongu shuts down recovery shenanigans. Izzy is just Izzy. And then Kazu's just Kazu. Uh, ba basically giving you gaining a memory when you have a cyborg or machine. Really easy in this deck. And then drawing and cycling your pieces really does help out and speed you up pretty quickly. And then we have Big Bad Alphamon. I think in this event, most players were deterring from it or forgot that. Alphamon wasn't restricted for us. And they're just not in the mood to have the deck anymore. They just moved on. Uh, Dorimon's just for that draw when we put a source underneath. Duramon searching for pieces and gaining memory when we put a X antibody underneath. Uh, Ryudamon is basically be giving decoy, but it's just another top searcher. Durumon is draw two. I love having the one Sonorisamon. Basically gives you an extra security check. Really does help out. Grumblemon's Grumblemon. Uh, then we have Durugreymon, just a big blocker. Gives us a small blocker, but gives us our X antibody bigger attack points. Uh, Dex Duro, giving one of our, if we Digivolve on top of our Duro Greymon, uh, we get Duro Guromon. Sorry, you get blocker and retaliation. Not terrible there. And free in game one memory for it. Duro Greymon just basically puts a source underneath and pretty much gives it a blanket attack protection, but also extra security checks is how the name goes. And then Dex Duro is just Dex Duro. What, what else do you want from this? Just basically one cost evolve, but can reset to zero for cheap. Oriumon's just Oriumon, lets you restand, gets you this crazy shenanigans. Alphamon's just going to de digivolve and put a source from trash underneath it. Uh, Alphamon from Oriumon is deleting all your opponents that you want the highest play cost. And then basically, if you pass turn, you instantly get to keep it your turn anyway. Breath of the Gods are Breath of the Gods. Kongu just shuts down anything. I mean, shuts down the shenanigans of like chaos degradation or recovery. And then Breath of Gods just makes another protection from the rest of the stuff it couldn't protect itself from. Black Memboost is just extending searching for pieces. X Antibody, just get another source underneath. And sometimes that helps you climb up too. Coda is just there to set ourselves to three and search us pieces. UG, UJ is all about Yuja, Yujai, uh, 
is all about just drawing you a card and gaining memory. Very powerful and being able to put a source underneath. And then you have Cool Boy being Cool Boy, drawing you pieces, searching you everything in your deck, basically. Just nutty. And then we'll wrap it up with D Reaper. D Reaper was quite interesting, actually. Um, you know, D Reaper is just what it's going to do. You searcher, you spam, you choke. You're just praying that you have gatekeepers and security when need be. Horn Striker to rush in as another out to having Reaper. It just sometimes surprises your opponent. Platy Head controls board state for you. Bubbles is bubbles. Gets you searchers and speeds your clock up. Pendulum Feet searches you stuff. Uh, Jerry gets searchers underneath. You got two Death Axes here just to DD evolve and control board state. And then Starmon itself. And then X Antibody to tick up the clock faster for your Mother D Reaper. So, guys, what did you think of the top 16 for the Magic Carta event? Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.